Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can convert from MBR to GPT without losing any data. Now if you are using an MBR system or setup then what's going to happen is it's going to restrict you in some ways okay. Now one of those restrictions is you can only have a maximum of four uh, primary partitions. So let's just take a look at uh, our system here. So if I right click on the start button and go to disk management, you'll see here if you wanted to create more than uh, one partition here, we have one C drive here. But if I had four, that would be the maximum you can have on an MBR setup. So you'd have to convert this to GPT. OK, now if you try to do it in here, you're going to lose your data. Let me just quickly show you uh, a quick way of doing this. So let's open up uh, ESUS uh, Partition Master. 12.8 and of course what we're going to do here now you can see we're under an MBR setup here and if we want to change that inside here we can do we could just right click here click on the actual drive right click and then we can see we have loads of options here like convert to dynamic disk but we want the convert MBR to GPT click on this and it will start to uh, put that into place as you can see here basic GPT we still need to apply and approve this so we're going to apply this and it will say you have three operations uh, pending so say yes here and go through this now you will need to reboot because it needs to put this into place so it's going to start to restart your system and then once it restarts the process will uh, start to make changes uh, to your system you can see here the ESAS Partition Master boot mode op operation. It will then start to create all this for you and move all your data across without losing it, okay? Now you've got to make sure that your system does support UEFI and uh, stuff like that as well. Otherwise you're going to run into problems. But if you do want to go ahead and do that, then you can use this method. So let that just finish off its thing. It will start to reboot the system. And then you can see now it's starting to uh, say the operation will continue in five seconds. It's now converting to GPT. And you can see here it's now finishing off the system. And that's it. You've now converted your drive from MBR to GPT. Hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.